All right, welcome to Black Box. I'm Preston Lewis, co-founder, and today I'm gonna to show you how to dominate in the Black Box arena. Let's do it. So this is your private battle area here. So this is about 100 square feet of private booth. And in this booth is our dynamic resistance machine right here. It's got two handles. These carriages will actually articulate up and down depending on the exercise you select in the game. We have the two arm trackers that I'm gonna be putting on in a second here that help you see your arms in VR. And then over here, we have our fully sanitized VR headset. Um, and I will be putting that on in a second. So these are the VR arm garments here. I'm gonna put on a fully sanitized uh, VR headset. So now I'm gonna put my headphones down and I'll see you in the arena. I'm gonna stand naturally here, look straight ahead. It's gonna calibrate my height. And now I'm gonna be warped to the locker room. Ooh, yeah. All right, so I just warped into the locker room. Uh, Y'all can see that's me today. I'm gonna be Cadet Medium, has kind of my hero levels there. I'm going against Cobra, level nine. Uh, boss, that's my battle team over there. Those are my champions, my six champions I can use in the battle. So you'll see that in a second. All right, warping down to the platform. Let's do this. All right, nice. So now I am on the battle platform. You can see the crowds here, my opponent Cobra. And then wait for the countdown. Three, two, one. Okay, they're gonna start sending out champions pretty soon, so I'll just show you here. So we got a crystal in front of me and my two gates here. So I'm protecting my crystal because if they destroy my crystal, they get points and I don't want that. On the other end of the field, you can see the opponent's crystal as well as their two gates. And you can see the 100 percentages of the health of each of those uh, elements. And so I want to destroy a gate to be able to attack their crystal. You can also see that this field is split in half. There's two lanes, there's a left lane and a right lane. And uh, they just deployed a Aquafist champion. So to get started, actually, I'm gonna look over here at my direct damage table. So these are my six exercises. Each time I do, uh, I'm gonna, I load these into the machine to select them. Um, and as I do reps, it'll actually fire a projectile uh, to protect my base. So I'm gonna get after it. So let's go ahead and pick up chest press. You can see it's stuck to my hand. I'm gonna go put it into the machine, into the hopper there. And that's how you select an exercise. So you can see the pads moving. I can actually feel it. It's mapped in VR to the actual object in reality, the bench pad in reality. You can see my weight buttons over here, but the heavy one's not gonna unlock for a couple minutes here. So I'm actually just gonna keep it on medium. Here, depending on the pad height, I can adjust it up or down, lower the pad, lower the pad, raise the pad by hitting those buttons. It looks about right. Um, I'm gonna hit activate. I'm gonna go ahead and watch that video. So, okay, it's, it's gonna be a chest press. Good to know. Got my blue hand and the blue handle. So I'm gonna actually do that. Grab the blue hand, handle with the blue hand, and the red handle with the red hand. Look down at my footprints here. Make sure I stand in the correct spot. And now I better get after it, because you can see my gait is only 30% and falling. So as I do reps here, you can see the health of the Aquafist going down. So boom, got rid of him. Got rid of the, uh-oh, they got my gait. So I'm gonna do some faster reps here. You can see as I, uh-oh, maximum reps. You can see as I do reps, it was shooting that fire beam. So actually, you know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do one right away, to be honest, because they're coming after me and I don't wanna wait for the bench pad to uh, configure too much. So I'm gonna get right back after it real quick. Blue handle, red handle, footprints. I'm just gonna pop the bubbles here. You can see, okay, there we go. And if you notice, as I destroy their units, or their champions, the health bars go down, and right when I destroy her, I'll put these down, you're gonna see the purple energy go into the crystal and see that purple number counting up? That's my elixir. So that's basically what I can use to spend on my own champion. So that was my direct damage table. You just saw me do those are the actual exercises with my body. 
this side are my champions. So I got the six champions. So I'm actually gonna pick up which one I want. You can see the different costs. So 700 for Shira. Got 500 for Aquafist. So I'm gonna actually do, let's go ahead and do Winja. And I'm gonna pick him up, put him in a hopper. And now I have these, what we call punch and slice patterns here. So red hand, if I do the blue hand, nothing's gonna happen, right? So it's red hand, slices along, energy barrel, blue hand, then punch red, punch blue, and the pattern repeats. So the point of this is to go fast. I'm going pretty slow right now, but it's to go fast to, to build them to keep your heart rate up. Um, so you can see once I finish the pattern, I actually have my this deploy button on my right hand and this this uh, this line pointing at the field. So I'm actually going to, I can do on the right lane or the left lane, but I actually want to just put him right here. I'm going to take my left hand, Hello. deploy him, deploy and Winja is summoned from his universe. And there he goes. He's going to fight by himself, so I don't have to control him. He's going to go against Aquafist. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to follow him up with a Scotty, so I'm going to build this one a little bit faster. You can see as you start to learn the different uh, patterns and movements, you'll get a lot faster at it. So. Again, the point of this is to uh, not only have the strategy of the game, but also to um, keep your heart rate up. So I'm not working very hard right now, so I'm going to get after it. So let's go ahead and select squat. I'm going to put that in the machine. I'm actually going to go heavy. Wait for the machine to, to calibrate. So they already got one of my gates here. And so if you look up at the scoreboard, this is where all the scores are tracked, the time, the rounds. So you can see I have zero points and Cobra has 500 because it's 500 per gate. And my crystal is now exposed on this side. I'm going after their gate. You got 26% over there, 96% over there. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go for the left gate just because it's the lower health right now. So selected heavy, had my, had my squat already in, hit activate. Now wait for a second, watch the video. Okay, it's a basic squat. All right, cable squat. So I'm gonna stand here, grab the blue handle with the blue hand, right handle with the red hand, or red handle with the right hand, and then I'm gonna squat. So let's go, let's go to the left. So this is an important point. So you can see, if I glance right and do a squat, the ice shard will automatically shoot to the right. If I glance to the left, like that, you'll notice that the ice shard will auto target in the left lane. So that's how you kind of aim for which lane you want to go after. So I'm gonna, I better get back after it because these guys are trying to get me. So you can see they got, they're, they're attacking my crystal pretty good here. The more reps I do in a row of squat, the more damage I do. So I'll talk more about that in a second. Okay, I'm taking them out, taking them out, taking them out. Okay, maximum reps achieved. Put the handles down. You know, I wanna get breathing kinda of hard here, so let's go ahead and do squat again. And you see this purple number up here in my heads up display, 3955, that's how much elix elixir I have. And again, as mentioned before, that's what I can spend on these guys. So let's go ahead and I'm actually just gonna use all my elixir here. So let's let's do a big tank character like Rock Dude. So he costs a lot of energy elixir, but, and he has a long pattern that you have to complete. But once you get him on the field, man, he soaks up a lot of damage. So what I like to do, there's just one strategy, is put Rock Dude in the front and then I'll put in the back a Scotty or two or three because the competitor, the opponent, has to auto target the unit closest to them. So you can see, I'm going to build this last Scotty. We're on the field in the back. But you can see that ice shard coming out, and the opponent is trying to take my rock dude out, and my Scotties are sitting back here protected. So I like to do that. It's a good strategy, highly effective. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna bust out some more 
squat reps. Help my team out, my champions out down there. So let's do a couple. Okay, so now I'm gonna explain to you the more reps equals more damage. If you look close in my heads up display, it says base damage, it's got that green bar. So that bar, and it just turned yellow. So as I do more reps, it's gonna do more and more damage. Boom. They just took out their crystal. The round's gonna reset, count down, and you can see I now have 1,500 points to 500, uh, which is awesome. So I'm in the lead now. Let's talk about the power up. So now I'm gonna show you guys a super pro tip here. So I'm gonna build the uh, Rock Dude Champion here. If you remember, put him on the field. He's gonna soak up a bunch of damage. I'm gonna follow him up with a Scotty or two. Actually, oops, more than two. And watch this, so I'm quickly doing this because I have elixir to spend. I'm gonna group these actually closer together this time. And now, once I build this last Scotty, I'm gonna use a power-up. It's called a Berserk power-up right here. And this is gonna be sweet, watch, so this, this makes him go way faster. So you can see I can highlight things on the field for who I want to activate. So they're green. I want them to have the berserk. Boom. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be funny. So they got the, uh, you can see they're shooting twice as fast. That crystal is a goner. So that's an example of using a power up. I can put them down and show you guys the end screen. So, victory! So you can see my streak went up. The more streaks you do, the more powerful your minions get. So all the coins that I earned, so I can use those in the mobile app. And over here is the cool part. So you can see, as I was mentioning, I was a lot stronger than the weight selected here. And so each of those green numbers is showing that I've, I've leveled up and I've increased my actual score. I also unlocked an uncommon chest I can check out in the app. Woo! Take the headset off and see you guys in a minute. Okay, so this is the mobile app. Uh, open it up. This is actually showing my profile here. So it looks like let's open a few of these things. Got a free gift. So you can see the different champions that I'm unlocking. As I unlock more champions, they level up and they get stronger. And then let's go ahead and head over to... So I won... So every time you win, you win trophies. And so you can see my trophies here. I have 5,700 trophies. And then you see the arena I'm in. So as you get more trophies, you can see you start at the bottom. And as you get more trophies, you go to bigger and better arenas. You unlock new champions as you go. And then go over to the stats section. Like I mentioned, we have 50,000 data points we're tracking every single workout. So you can see the battle, the recent battle that I've done. Load up my stats, you can see all the body parts that were worked. You can see the volume, you can see the kind of sequence, sequence of my workout. And if I wanna see my performance over time, you can see I'm a hero level 30, and that combines my legs, my back and biceps, my chest and triceps. So basically my full body ranking is a hero level 30. So the stronger I get, the higher my hero level goes in the game. Um, and then here are my charts. So this is my lat pull down, my wind blast. So you can see over time, my strength has gotten has risen, fire beam, all of your workouts and progress are shown, shown in the app and automatically tracked and tracked for you. All right, well, thanks for joining us for that black box VR game tutorial. We'll see you in the arena.